I've got a real little production line happening today. I'm sort of putting layers on little works on paper and um, <clears throat> as you saw I've been working on um, this one. Um, this must be getting over to a year old now. Um, and, <laughs> you know, it's just dawned on me. I really don't think I'm mature enough to be a painter yet. <laughs> I don't think I'm... It's quite strange for me to say that, but... I don't know, I just don't feel like I'm mature enough to paint. <laughs> I should just give up now. Um, but, in saying that... Oh, I don't know. You know, you have days where you think, Oh, what am I doing? Well... That face has been annoying me for ages, and I put this painting next to it just to see if something will click, something that I can drag across that will give me a connection. Um, apart from the lines, I love, I love these horizontal lines, and uh, they're going to be in there somewhere in the work because that's that marks it as sort of mine, you know. That's my little claim to my style, it's these lines that run through and it represents order, the order, straightness, direction, know where it's going, in the chaos, where there's all this chaos happening all around in the artwork. So it's, for me that's a, could always have that link. But anyway, about this, about this face, right, be annoying the crap out of me. Um, for me, it doesn't fit in with the painting. It doesn't fit in with what I'm doing. Um, so I was looking at this work here, and the birds, right? I love the birds. And, you know, they've all got these big eyes, and some of them are doubled up. And I just thought, well, there you go. There's a bird's eye. If I just made that as a bird's eye and had to have a, have a beak coming off, uh, and with a body, I could have another bird here that could be its eye and then have the body coming off there or I was thinking, oh, I don't know, maybe I'll just block that eye out a bit and then just have this one bird sort of flying into the canvas. Because um, the original eye that I was using was taken from uh, Madonna. Uh, I used her eye because um, one of my paintings called No Judgment um, I used the face of Madonna and um, yeah there's quite symbolic meanings behind the eyes um, but the eyes quite sim simplistic but I actually quite like the more detailed eye now so I'm going to give that a go I'm going to try and create a bird out of um, out of that eye and see what happens. But um, I do like the chandeliers and the light. I, saw, I tried to strengthen it up in these areas here where the, the beams are coming through just to give a bit of a different layer. Um, so something I like about that, the swirliness of them and the casual nature of them. 
and I'd always envisaged of putting um, some chandeliers in here, just n not heaps, just maybe one, one or two. Not there because that's a nice spot to rest, but um, yeah, probably maybe one down below here. I've still got this bird nest to slightly finish off yet, it's not quite finished. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> So that's what I'm doing. That's where I am and that's what it's up to. But like I said, oh, some days I just feel like I'm just not mature enough to paint. I should just, I don't know, maybe it's I'm just being impatient. Um, because I just get so many ideas and you get so overwhelmed with, okay, I could do that and I could do that and I could do that. I mean, there's so many different possibilities and so many solutions that it just becomes, Oh my god, why don't you just focus on doing one thing and stick to that idea through the whole painting and then do something else. But, you know me, well, I love working with layers and I love building up lots of layers, so you know, <laughs> I'm taking my inspiration from Ian Fairweather. You know, some of his artworks were 50 layers, you know, 50 layers he had on top of his works. And then he just brought it all together at the last minute. Um, <laughs> so, um, you know, there is hope for me yet. <laughs> there is hope. Just got to keep going, right? And then, um, yeah. So I thought I could do it in pencil first, just to, <clears throat> just to work out the shape that I'm after of the beak. You could always have another bird going behind. But if I have it, if I paint it with runny paint so it dribbles and runs in, um, I think that's going to work. I think it is going to work. Good thing about pencils, I can rub it out if I don't like it. quite an intense eye so it's quite you know it's because humans look at eyes you know when we look we're programmed to recognize faces so the first thing that you're going to look at this canvas is you're going to get hit by this eye so if you're not sure about something just block it out so I just stuck some masking tape over it just to just to take it away just so I could get an idea of what it'd be like if it wasn't there um, and this actually looks like its neck, right? And it's sort of twisted its head around and that's its body. Sort of the neck comes down here and then the body sort of could go like there. And it's sort of like twisted its head looking back at you. So that's sort of it's like where the neck turns and that's the neck going down. But to get this bird just right, I need to do the brush strokes in pretty strong single strokes, like sort of to capture the essence. Um, so for example, in this, this painting, all of these strokes have been deliberate, like, you know, they've just been, I've been going with uh, the energy flow. There's been no oh, hesitation, it's just been like boom. Boom, 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 that sort of thing. And I need to do that exactly the same way. Because if it's like, if you do it carefully and then, you know, follow it around. And if you're too precious, well, if I'm too precious, then it'll look too, um, too constructed, if you know what I mean. I don't want it to have that feel. What I might do is just draw up the horizontal lines to go across the work um, because then if I've got the lines drawn up I can sort of see where I might be able to do little different effects on either side of the lines and stuff. 